I'm Mitchie B, and this is Wild Adventures. Alright guys, what we have here is the leopard gecko. We just got him in the other day because his owners weren't able to care for him. Right now he's a little bit skinny, but with a bunch of mealworms and some crickets, we could definitely make him top the scale. Now in the wild you can find these guys in South Asia, all the way from Pakistan, and all the way up to Northwestern India. Fun fact about these guys is they're nocturnal. That means you're only going to find them out for dinner. These guys are a great beginner pet. You could keep him in a long shallow tank with a heat pad underneath it so it could get just 90 degrees. So watch out, remember, the leopard gecko. Hey guys, if you have any questions regarding any of the animals or anything you see on our show, leave a comment below and we'll be glad to get back to you. Now as all of you know, I'm a big reptile guy, but there's another place in my heart and it goes out to the pit bulls. Now what I have here is my brown guy. He's soldier, he's a pit lab mix. He's about a year and a half old, weighing 75 pounds. This right here is Recon. He's a blue nose, blue pit. He um, is Razor's Edge Gotti bloodline, weighing in at 76 pounds with a 23 inch head right now. And he's just shy of a year and a half old. Now the American Pit Bull Terrier is the number one misunderstood dog breed out there. A lot of stereotypes are that, you know, they're not good with dogs, they bite people, they kill people. Now today, we're going to put these guys to the test. I heard pit bulls turn against their owners. Ah. Dude, I heard pit bulls can kill you. Dude, I heard pit bulls are not family dogs. Well guys, that just goes to show, it's not about the breed, it's the way you make them. Now, here at Wild Adventures, we do a little thing where we individually rehome and re-adopt pit bulls that have either been neglected or abused. So if you or anyone you know have any questions about the breed or about adoption, please send us a message and we'll try to work something out. Now as you guys seen in the last video, I showed you the ball python. Well now, at the end of each episode, I want to go a little bit more in depth with the different type of morphs and combinations you can make. This right here is the Pinstripe Ball Python. It was created in 2001 by Brian Bartek of BHB. Now as you take a closer look, you kind of get an idea of how they got their name. You can see the pinstripes going down all the way through their back. The pinstripe is definitely a beaut to get a great Ball Python collection going. If you take a pinstripe and a pastel, you could get a lemon blast. If you take a pinstripe and a Mojave, you could get a jigsaw. If you take a pinstripe and a lesser, you could get a kingpin. If you could take a pinstripe and a spider, you could make spinners. Thanks for watching this episode of Wild Adventures. Once again, this is Mitchie B, and don't forget, watch out!